The other semi-final was Buddy Graham's Glen 111, Moy Cullen 12 points. A first ever All-Ireland Club football final appearance for Waddy Graham's Glen. Obviously, you mentioned Connor Glass coming back. I don't think I've ever seen a player come back from the AFL and make such an immediate impact as Connor Glass has. I mean, you could argue Ty Kennelly, 2009, when he came back, he won an All-Star. Kerry won the All-Ireland. That's definitely right up there. But Connor Glass hasn't just gone back to Australia one year later. Like, he, he stuck around and he's, you know, continuing to build with Derry and continuing to build with Waddy Graham's Glen. And he's a key part for both of those sides. Look, Moy Cullen were very reliant on two players here, and I think that could have been their downfall. Desi Keneally hit eight points of their tally. Peter Cook hit two. They were very reliant on those two to get the goods for them. The crucial score, as you mentioned, Tiernan Flanagan's goal. They were five up with 20 minutes to go. Very similar to the Krauss game in that Moy Cullen then staged the fight back with the Glen crucial points at crucial times. I have it here, Connor Glass, Colin Mulholland, and a fisted point from Michael Warnock. There were three clutch points at crucial times when Moy Cullen kind of were coming back into it and it just got them over the line in the end. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Connor Glass, I you run out of words to describe the kind of impact that he's had since he's come back. Um, I interviewed him actually a few years ago when he was out in Australia. And, you know, he mentioned like, you know, while I'm here, it's on my mind, I want to go back and play play for Derry, go back and play for my club at some point. And as he cashed in on that plan and made and really delivered for for club and county, like this is a dream season for him. Um, and Glenn were, you know, I mean, I said it before, they were full value for their victory. And like they've Malik O'Rourke as their as their manager, he's bringing every inch of his um of his uh his strength as a manager to to Glenn. He he did very well with Monaghan and now he's he's bringing it to them. Um they were yeah, they were they were exceptional and and yeah, Mike Cullen, you just felt they were lacking. They just they just needed something. Um they did now, I mean again, you know, they emptied the tank and it was nearly enough in the end. Um they also had a chance um for a last minute goal and just I think it was just an awkward angle. You know, look, ball can can bounce any way and we've seen freak scores happen in sport many times in the past, yeah. but it just, you know, it just didn't uh, it just didn't come through for them. Glenn just managed to to hold on and they've been they've been fantastic. I mean, I think as I said before, that win over Kilku that would give anybody huge confidence if you take down a team like that and, and and at that point in the season when you still have more time to to build momentum uh throughout the season that's you know they've really they've really uh shone through there and and they'll be they'll be a big challenge for for Kilmuckle Crokes in the final no doubt and I think what's very interesting when you're looking ahead to that final obviously we will we'll do a little review or preview sorry before What's interesting when you're looking at it is we're talking about Kilmuckle Croaks having their burst. Wally Graham's Glen had a burst right at the start. First 10 minutes, they go four points to nil up. Like that was Kilmuckle Croaks S. They hit them real quick and that really set them up for the rest of the game. You were saying there that they always kind of held up. They always were just that little bit ahead of Moy Cullen. I think Moy Cullen will regret that they didn't push up on them sooner. Because once they kind of went man to man, once they kind of got a bit braver, they started getting more chances. And you always think that when you look at, look, why weren't they doing this sooner? Why weren't they doing this when it was clear that in the first 10 minutes, Waddy Graham's going to have gone four points to nil up. Clearly what you're doing isn't working. Like, do you think that they might have thought that they left this one behind them in a way? Ah, look, I'm sure they will have regrets going back. You always do when when you lose. You either win, you win or learn. That's the that's the phrase. And yeah, look, they will they will feel like they made mistakes. I'm sure when they review the tape, they'll they'll realize that themselves. And I suppose my Cullen are really unfortunate because you know they made their breakthrough in 2020 when they won the county, but they could go no further because of COVID, and that had obviously put a, uh, a stop to the provincial and all Ireland championships going ahead that year. And I'm sure they would have loved a chance because club club is so unique in that it's, it gets win or bust. And if you win, you get, you get momentum and you don't know where it could take you. You, you could, you don't know who you could be coming up against in the provincial championships. It's, it's a very unique competition. And the more you win, the more confidence you get. And I think they, you know, Sean Kelly, when he was speaking to uh, on that press call that Tommy Walsh was on last week, 
you know, he did mention that, yeah, we, you know, we would have loved a chance to have a cut at it that year. So to get, they got their chance this year and, you know, made the most of it. They got some great wins in, in Connacht um, to get them to this point. And I'd say of the two semifinals, that was probably the most evenly matched one. I'd say, you know, predictions probably weren't unanimous across the board. So yeah, yeah, they, they will come back, you know, they will go home feeling a bit, like you know it could what could have been but sure that's always the case whenever you don't get the result that you went up for um but as i said they i mean they did they did when they did push glenn had a response so you could do that for 70 minutes and tire yourself out um mm. you know you do have to know when to sit back when to attack and again crow park it's a different stadium it's a different ground and maybe some of those boys weren't maybe used to to playing in a in a pitch like that. Those are all factors that I'm sure Michael will be thinking about uh, when when they think back over that game. Yeah, it's, it's just the type of thing that like Michael and I remember they batted Westport at three eighteen to one eleven or something. I remember thinking like God, this is frightening tally to put up at this time of the year. And since then, their attack has not looked anything like it did in that game. I mean, against Strokes Town, they went long periods without scoring from play. Same against Turla Strand. Like, they looked kind of dodgy in those two games. And I was thinking, where's that spark that they had against Westport? Where's that freedom? Of, where's that movement? Where's that, you know, creativity that they had against Westport? Um, You would have looked in those games, you know, particularly in this game when Desi Keneally was putting up all of the scores for them. You're looking towards the Kellys. You're looking towards Owen Gallagher. So like, he needs a dig out here. He needs someone to come and help him. Like, And, uh, f- you know, fittingly enough, that last moment fell to him and Peter Cook to try and mm-hmm. make something happen, try and make some magic happen, which obviously it didn't. And Waddy Graham's Glen are into the final for the first time ever, which is one hell of an achievement.